Welcome back guys to new Super Mario Bros DS. I know this video isn't probably what you were expecting today, but a lot of you guys in the comment section in yesterday's episode told me that I should definitely not skip playing these mini games because they aren't the same as the ones that we played in Super Mario 64. So I'm going to go ahead and check them out today because you know, when I actually look at them, they're really not that bad. Like there's not really many of them. There's the variety. You got the table mini games. I know Luigi loves gambling, the puzzle mini games and then the action mini games some of them do look familiar but for the most part all at least a lot of them don't look familiar to me I just assumed that they were the same ones from Super Mario 64 DS which you know I was wrong it's uh, it's okay to be wrong every here and there but anyways before we begin guys please do me a favor and drop a like on this video tomorrow's episode of new Super Mario Bros DS will maybe be the final episode it'll be the multiplayer uh, section of this game we're gonna just test that out see how it goes I was gonna upload that today but unfortunately I got busy I had to take my friend Chris to the airport and uh, if you guys live in the suburbs part of Illinois you'll know that getting to O'Hare and back in rush hour is literally one of the worst things ever sitting in your car in traffic is legit one of the worst things in life but you know I had to do it man for my boy Chris but anyways let's see what we got here we got this game I think you just you steer the snowball. Yeah, I played this one. We played this one in uh, in Super Mario 64. Oh, man. Uh, you're screwing up, snowball. You got the snowball. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not going to make it. 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 Make it. Let's go. Woo. I didn't make it. Wow. Okay, I'm going to put my DS down, and I'm going to try it again. This time with my DS down on the uh, the desk. Maybe it'll work better this time around. Here we go. Build the snowman, dude. I wish we can actually build snowmen like this in real life. If only we could. Too bad we're not able to actually shove that much snow by ourselves without any use of devices or vehicles. Okay, we got this. Ah, oh, man. I was so close. There we go with a minute and nine or a second and 99 milliseconds to spare. Not so good, honestly. I mean, if the high score is 20 seconds by default, I feel like I should have been able to do it in a much faster time. But, oh, well, that was the first action mini game. Welcome to action mini game number two, Alakatu launch. Shoot as many spinies as you can into the flying shells within the allotted time. All right, that sounds pretty simple. Just uh, just shoot as many of these things into the shells, right? You know, I guess there's really no high score for this thing. It just depends on what you do. Because either way, you're a winner. Even if you get one or zero, you're still a winner in the books of these guys' game. And I could even shoot faster, you know what I mean? Look at that. The toads are going crazy. This is the toads' worst nightmare, man. Look how crazy they're going. If I were a toad, I'd be freaked out too. This is probably one of the worst things that could ever happen to a toad. It's just having to run away from Lakitu's and spiny shells all at once. It's not good, dude. These guys have an obsession, though, with their spiny shells. So we have a total of a high score of the number. Wow, I surpassed 10. I'm pretty surprised. 12. Okay, that's not bad. The high score is 12. I could easily beat this if I wanted to, but you know, we're only gonna do these once and then that's it. You know, unless I fell at the mini game, because I haven't played, um, I, I feel like I played them before, but I, I don't really remember if I have or not. Danger, bob bomb danger. Slide over to the touchscreen to guide the bob bomb out of the way of the incoming fireballs. Watch out for, or, or for Bowser's flame breath too. How long can you survive? Ooh, I like this. So what do we gotta do? We just gotta... We gotta drag him like this. Oh. Oh, I like this. Yo, this is actually a pretty sick minigame. And you could just keep him down. You know, I gotta watch out for all these Bowser minigames. Woohoo! Or uh, all the Bowser fireballs. I can't really see because my. Aw, oh, man, he blew up! High score is 1105. That is my score. Dang, that was actually really cool. I like that minigame. Let me try it again. Nah, I said I'm not going to do it again, but that was actually fun. I'm going to play that one once I'm done with this one. Because that was actually good. I like that one. And the only problem is when your hand is kind of in the way, um, you can't really see the screen or where the fireballs will be coming from. You have to have really small hands in order to do it properly. But I'm going to assume this one, you just got to hit the moles, right? Oh, uh, don't hit the Luigi, right? Because yeah, if you hit Luigi, you lose three points. And we don't want to lose three points for hitting our brother. 
even though he kind of deserves a whack in the head every here and there, you know, to get him going. Uh, not today, though. Oops, accidentally hit you, Luigi. I'm sorry, little man. I'm sorry, man. Can you forgive me, please? If you don't forgive me, I'm going to die. I'm going to lose this mini game. There we go. Dude, so many of these Monty Moles, dude. So many of them. We had 40. Wow. 40 minus the 6 that I got deducted for hitting Luigi three or twice. So I would have had 46. So if I played that again, I'd probably be do like I'd probably do really well considering that, you know, I know how to do it now. Balloon racing. Blow into the mic to send Yoshi flying skyward. Yoshi's balloon will burst if it hits the fly guy. If all the balloons pop, Yoshi could fall. You can reach the goal before the time runs out. Can I reach the goal? I guess I can. Let's find out. Blow into the mic though. Dude, this stupid mic doesn't work, man. I'm literally blowing into the mic and it's not working. Let me try that again. Man, dude, that is such a weird mini game. Literally, blowing into the mic doesn't actually work. It's just kind of hit or miss, you know? You're not going to guarantee that blowing into the mic directly or, you know, a little bit away from your mouth is actually going to work. I don't know how to do it, to be honest, but I'm probably doing it wrong. Let's be real. Anyways, now moving on to the puzzle mini games. Wanted. It's easy to get lost in a crowd. Find the one wanted and touch him to disappear. There it is. Okay, so that's easy. We played this one definitely in Super Mario 64. So they just, you know, added it to this game. We'll play it again because why not? You know, maybe we can actually get a better score than we did last time. This one's actually a really fun mini game because once the screen starts filling up, it's really hard to spot up or to spot the one that's missing. And it starts moving too as far as I can remember. So right now we got to find Luigi. There he is. Very easy to spot out in the crowd, you know, because he's green. Everything else is yellow and red. Wario, like I said, also very easy to spot out just because of the color of his hat. So that's a five pointer. Now level six. I think this is when it starts moving. Yep. So now we got to get Luigi. What's up, Luigi? I bet you didn't want to be caught. Now you got to go to prison. Okay, Mario's back there. You know, just look for the hat. If you look at the faces, you're going to get very confused because you're never really going to be able to tell who's who. I mean, you probably could, honestly. Maybe I'm just the one that sucks. Where's Luigi at? Luigi, Luigi, Luigi. I don't see a Luigi. You guys probably see Luigi and you're probably screaming at your screens right now. There he is. You're probably tapping him as I speak. And I'm sitting here and I can't find this guy. Where? Oh, I found him. No, it's not Luigi. What the heck, man? There he is. I found him with five seconds left. I think every time you misclick, you lose some time. And then the time keeps going up when you do click right. Now we have to find Luigi again. This time with the thing moving around. I, th I literally saw him. I literally saw him. There he is again. I saw him go up and I'm like, wait, come back, Luigi. Hold on, buddy. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Yoshi, I found you, big dog. All right, I'm going to go around 15. If I keep going, then, uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to lose. Okay, maybe I'm going to lose now because I said, oh, there he is. What's up, Yoshi? So 14. I might just do this honestly until I lose. Because I feel like we're on a streak that's about to end. Where is this man, Luigi? I don't see you. Where is you at, boy? Oh, man. I can't see him. I literally can't see him. I really wish I was joking, but I can't find him. There he was. See, I wasn't even looking in that area. I was looking in the bottom right side. And he wasn't even there. But nonetheless, we got a tie score of 13. I think that's worse than what I got last time. I'm pretty sure last time I capped out my, like mini game level at 15 i kept telling myself if i go over 15 i'll stop or if i get to 15 i'll stop which wiggler touch the wiggler on this touch screen that matches the one on the top screen choose carefully though he has a tamper temper trouble tamper okay so we got to find the one that's exactly the same as the one on the top screen um blah blah, blah. i think it's this guy yeah i was looking at the spots it's gonna be hard because they're not actually laying in the way the wiggle on the top screen is laying so you have to 
look a little longer in order to figure that one out. But it's probably going to be just the spots that are the only thing that change about him. Maybe the, the four-leaf clover on his hat. Actually, yeah, the thing does change dramatically. Um, I think it would be... I think it would be this guy. See, I wanted to click him first, but then I looked at the second spot. It looked a little bit different, so... I couldn't, all, I couldn't like, really guess. So we got that one. Yeah, you're welcome, Wiggler. You're loving it, right? Well, let's see, which one is it? Which one is it? Uh, I think it was that guy, yep. I was gonna say, there's no way it was the ones on the left. They're going way too fast for me even to look at them. And then you got these ones all morphed together. Are you serious? Dude, stop it, guys. You guys gotta chillax. I think it's him. Yeah, it was definitely him. He is the wiggler in disguise. What else do we have? Oh, another one of these. Dude, stop morphing into one another. Like, this is weird. Uh, which one would it be? It would be... I think it would be... Oh, man, I can't see it. this guy. One second left. Wow, six seconds to do this one. There's no way I could do it. Actually, I think I got him. There he is. There we go. We're almost at 10. Let's see if I can get to level 10. If I get to level 10, that would be awesome. Okay, let's see. I think it would be... Nope, I lost it. Which one was it? Wiggler, you gotta chill, man. Look at him. He's about to try to climb out of the screen to attack me right now. Dude, if you do that, I'm gonna squash you and forget about being a butterfly. Just saying, dude. If you really want to be a butterfly, calm down. So you don't get squished. Alright, so moving on to the next one. This one's called Hide and Seek Boo. Rub the touch screen where the boos are hiding. You can find them all before, can you find them all before the time runs out? Yes, I can, because this is a mini game that I've played before. So you just gotta keep an eye out on the boo and then just rub the touch screen. Bruh. What the heck, man? Where did he go? How did he disappear off the screen that quickly? Seriously? Is this, is this guy serious? We're gonna do it again. One more. Just one more, guys. I want to make sure that I at least find one of these guys. See? He's right there. See? What's up? That's what I'm talking about. That's how it's meant to be done. That's how it should have been done the first time, but for some reason, he decided not to, you know, appear. He was just messing around. Alright, so there's two of them. There we go. There he is. The second one. This is actually gonna be hard. Because with the amount of time they give you, and then now on the second level, we're already finding two boos. I mean, it's obviously going to be a little bit harder to find all three at once. So, got to do that, and then, boom. I say that, and I find it in one second. Two and three. All right, pretty good. So, before I actually lose on this, I'm going to just move on to the next one. Because we've seen that one already, so we don't need to play it again. Because it's a long one. Match the touchscreen pictures to the top screen. Touch the panels to turn over the surrounding panels. Harder levels will take more turns to solve. Okay, puzzle panel. I'm pretty sure I've played this one before as well. So what we gotta do is we gotta... Wait, what? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm supposed to click... One of these things. Okay, how are you... This is literally a luck-based minigame. I think. Right? Because, like, watch. I'm supposed to click one of these panels, and it's supposed to work. See, how does that work, specifically? See, and then that, that didn't work out. See, I literally don't know. Uh, that's why I, I, I'm pretty sure I had the same problem, too, when I played it the first time. And that's, that's why I quit. I was just like, I'm not going to do that one, because it doesn't make sense. But, yeah, anyways, going on to the fifth mini game. Coincentration. Pay attention to where the fallen coins land. Tap the blocks to retrieve the coins. Choose wisely. If you pick the wrong block, your game will end. Okay. So we need to concentrate right now on where these coins will land. You have to pick the ones with the most coins in it, I'm assuming. This is one of those mini games that you just play once, you know? It'd be like heads or tails with your friends. I'm gonna pick that one. And I lost. <laughs> I'm supposed to look for the ones with all the coins. Okay, so the highest score for that one is 14. Alright, yeah, that's, that's not one that I'd play again. 
And then you have these mini games, the table mini games, the worst mini games ever. I don't understand these ones. I don't like them. I'm not a gambling man, so I don't really play these. But we're going to play them anyways just for you guys. Memory match. Pick two matching cards to make them disappear. Clear all the cards to win. If you make three mistakes, Luigi wins. Luigi, my boy, you're a gambler, dude. You're a professional at this. Like, seriously, this is how he makes his money, guys. So I'm going to pick one card, two card. I'm gonna pick one card. It's a cloud. Oh, he wants me to uh, to land the ones that are are similar. Ah, dang it! Too bad. Luigi wins. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I actually wasn't paying attention. Okay, here we go. So this is a mushroom that is a fire flower. So we found the mushroom in the fire flower. Mushroom, mushroom, fire flower, star, star, star. Okay, fire flower, fire flower. Nice. Cloud, cloud, perfect. Booyah, Luigi, suck on that, dude. Suck on that. Should I keep going? Probably not. I just don't want to do these card mini games if I don't have to. I'm only just showing them off for the sake of showing them off. Picture poker. Get a better hand than Luigi to win. If you're confident that your hand is best, increase the number of coins you bet. All right, so another one of these mini games where you either waste your coins or you make money back in turn. Um, I don't know how to play poker whatsoever. So I guess that right there, I actually don't know. I'm going to bet my money, dude. Let's, it's, it's all or nothing, dude. Draw. Okay, what did you just do? Two pairs, one pair. Too bad I lost. You take my money. Good job, Luigi. I don't really care, man. You're, you have a gambling problem, my boy. Go seek help. Guys, we need to set up an intervention for Luigi. Seriously, this guy has a problem. Match up cards horizontally, vertically, or diagonally to remove them from the table. Clear all cards to win. All right, let's see what this is about. I actually don't understand what this one is. I know these all probably have a you know a name in uh in what's it called um in 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 gambling, poker, whatever, casinos. But you know what, man, I'm not about that. So I really want to know. There we go. You just gotta go quick, you know. Eventually, there will be a point where, like, you will run out of cards to do. Like, right now. I feel like I ran out of cards. Except, not really. Because I could do these. And then these. And then these. Yeah, too bad. See, I almost did it. Almost had it. But, oh well. You know. At least we got close. I think that was the closest I've ever gotten to actually winning that thing before. Last time I did it, I don't remember if I did it, honestly, all the way through or not. But Mario slides. Guide Mario down the side to the star. Draw lines on the touch screen to create new routes for him. If Mario lands in a piranha plant, the game is over. Collect five stars to move up the stage. And I think we've played this one. So he's going to go down. And I never understood this one either because the way Mario kind of works... It's very weird. So he's gonna come down this way. Come on, scroll faster. There we go. Let's see which way. Which way is he gonna go? This way. There we go. Make it fast, dude. There we go. There we go. Make it fast. Dude, they're literally getting me so close to the piranha plants. It's like they want me to lose this. There we go. Are you serious? Why did he choose to go that way? He should have just kept going down. This is bogus, man. This game's rigged. All right. Variety. Another variety minigame. What do we have this time? This is called Sort or Splode. Guide black bob bombs to the black carpet and red bob bombs to the red carpet. If you bring the wrong bob bomb, it will explode, and that's no good. I can second that, man. Have you guys seen a bob bomb that explodes? It just destroys everything around it. There we go. Put that one there. These guys are enemies, man. Even though they're the same thing, dude. I guess these guys aren't the only ones going through some issues in their world, you know, with who they are. All right, go that way. There's way more black bob bombs than there are red ones. Go ahead. Put the red one there. Black one. Red one. Red one. Red one. I say that and now here comes the school of red ones. There we go. 
So you want to see how many, I guess, you can put. This is way too fast right now. Like, these guys got to chill. I'm seriously sending out way more bombs than I've ever sent out in my life. Dude, imagine if all these guys explode. Not pretty. Where are you going, dude? Where are you going? Don't go that way, dude. Don't go that way. Go this way. Come back. Nope. You're going the wrong way, dude. There we go. I, I actually beat it. Did I beat it? I think I beat it. We filled up the black bob bombs. That is a total of 40 black bob bombs that we got. Oh man, that was that was close. And then we got a total of 40 whatever red bob bombs in that spot, so that's also pretty good. I mean, I could probably honestly do this for a while. And I think I'm going to keep going cuz I feel like I'm on a roll right now. I don't know what happens if they reach the end. Like if they reach the other side, you know, of the door that they're coming out from. Like that will necessarily mean they'll explode. But I thought for a second when they were walking towards um, wherever it is they're walking to, they were walking to like this side. Like to get inside the black bob bomb or the red bob bomb bucket. You know what I mean? Oh man. There we go. Another 40 bob bombs on that side, dude. Whew. So score is now 120 for me. And then we have the red bob bombs, which are probably about to also hit 40 if I can go pretty quick on these guys. Probably not now because the black ones made it. Yeah, this is way too hectic, bro. Oh, we made another 40, dude. We got another 40. So that's going to be 160 right now. And then at this point, all the bob bombs are coming out really quick. So I'm going to just wait. Yeah, see, that guy exploded. I really don't know why he exploded, to be honest. But my total score is 162, which is not bad, you know? I don't think I ever got this high or this far when I did it last time. So that's an improvement, I guess. All right, what else do we have for the variety mini games? We have this, which, if you guys remember correctly, Bounce and Trounce. So it's the same mini games over and over again. Like I said, you know, I knew this was going to be what it was, um, but you know, I just thought I'd show it off to you guys to to make sure. Wait, what am I? What am I doing with you? Oh, I gotta, I gotta hit them. Man, I'm so silly. I actually wasn't aware. Oh, you gotta hit them like that to keep getting the shy guys. I probably should have read the rules. Maybe this is a different mini game. You got it, Mario. You can do it. Good job, Mario. You got this, my boy. Guys, Mario got this. Oops. I think I've killed one of my Mario's. Yeah, I totally did. Can I? I can't direct them either in terms of directions. They just go wherever they feel like going. So it's kind of like a hit or miss, you know? It, they could potentially hit them, or they could potentially miss them. But for the most part, they are hitting them. I shouldn't have hit that guy. There we go. Perfect. Go ahead. Oops. Yep, he went and died. He's coming back. There we go. Come on, give me 25. 25 and I'll end it off pretty good. That's all I want. 25. Make it make it 25. Make it make 25 happen for me. Oh! Come on, one more. All right, there we go. 25 happened. I can end it off in peace. And those two guys just, you know, fell and died. So we got a total of 27 points. Not bad. I don't know if I quit. But yeah, okay, it saved. Pretty good. I'm going to say, does quitting actually destroy your opportunity of keeping the high score? Probably not. The parachuting bob bombs have targeted your precious guard and use your slingshot to knock them out of the air. Hit Lakitu to blow them all up at once. Okay. This is one that we've played before already, too. So you want to just go ahead and sling these things constantly. And then that will destroy the bob bombs. And then if you get Lakitu, the culprit leader here will actually blow up all the bob bombs at once. And I guess for each one, you get 100 points, right? Yep. That's pretty nice. You make it pretty high in terms of points. These toads are freaking out, dude. I'd be freaking out too if I were you guys. You have every right to freak out, dude. Imagine bombs raining from the sky. That's probably one of the most terrifying things to ever have to see in your life. You can't even imagine what World War II was like. 
what it was like in Pearl Harbor. Oh man, that, that, that would really suck, dude, honestly. I would never want this to ever happen to me or anyone, let alone. All right, let's go. Let's go. There we go. We got this, guys. 5,000 points. That's pretty awesome. I, I could keep doing this all day. It's actually very easy. But if I really tried, I could keep these minigames going endlessly. I mean, there has to be a stopping point at one point, you know? I mean, but how much bob bombs can start coming down from the sky? Like, I want to see what the final level programming thing looks like, you know? Because, honestly, you could just keep it going forever and ever. Um, and now moving on to the final mini game and that my friends is trampoline time draw a line on the touch screen to create a trampoline You can draw up to three lines at a time use a trampoline to bounce Mario to safety a game that we've played before So Mario's gonna go Ooh. Come back down. Oh, he's in safety already So you want me to, to bounce this dude to safety? There we go. Come on get up there Get up there man Get up there, my boys. There we go. Get up there, Mario. So many Marios, guys. There we go. And that thing is gone, so I gotta build a bigger one. There we go. And he's dead. Wow, how dare you fall and die. Dude, Mario, get back up there, my boy. I gotta do it like this. Oh my gosh, dude. They're so bad. They are so bad at falling. I even hated this mini game when I did it the first time. So, there's no way I'm going to want to keep this one going. Get up there, Mario. Okay, that's it, you know. That that didn't work. You can't put a trampoline in another trampoline. So, there go all my Marios. And that is it. We did all the mini games. Um, like I said, you know, not many of them were were new. Most of them were actually the same mini games we played before. I don't really know why Nintendo would have went out of their way at this point to put it in the game. Maybe they just wanted to fill it with more content, you know, considering that New Super Mario Bros is in fact a pretty short game. So they just put the mini games in the Mario and Luigi. They used to do that before with like the Game Boy Advance games. They used to put the Super Mario Bros, the versus thing that you did with Luigi, just that little bonus game. And they did that in Mario and Luigi. Uh what was it called? Superstar Saga? Like, pretty much every Game Boy Advance game that was a Mario title had that mini game in it, the Super Mario Bros, which was pretty cool. I don't know if that's what it's called, but it was that Mario and Luigi mini game where you have to hit the spiny shells and see who can get the most points at the end. So, you know, that was always fun to play because you could play it with any of your friends using the, the, the cable cord, whatever it was called. And they didn't have to have the same game as you in order to play it, so... I guess that's exactly what it is, you know, for the DS, I suppose, but... Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Tomorrow, like I said, we will bring you guys the Mario vs. Luigi section of this game. And then once we're done with that, we can actually start on New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which I'm excited about. Um, so thank you for watching once again, and I will see you all in the next episode. Peace out.